is it possible chat gpt alternative to occur and today we are in a moment where we probably might have got the closest to a community driven chat gpt alternative yes the initiative called open assistant if you are not familiar it's an initiative driven by a set of community members with a bunch of sponsors who wanted to create a chat gpt alternative they wanted to create an open model just for open source and they wanted to share it with everybody in this world so people can actually use it so this open assistant has got the first release public release today not just the mod not just the chat bot in itself but they've also released the data set the model is not yet released but the data set that they used to fine tune the model and the model interface the chat gpt kind of interface web interface where you can go chat is available in this video we're going to break down what this project is about and how this model looks like at the initial phase i don't want to make a video where i compare a completely new project with chat gpt in fact like the project with a really good intention i don't want to come across like the guy who compares it and then says oh no no this is not as good as chat gpt i don't want to do that this is a truly great initiative so i wanted to do my part in supporting that initiative and spreading that word so this is not a comparison video with chat gpt or it is not even trying to say that this is going to be a drop in replacement for chat gpt from open source but i want you to know that this project exists and i want you to go try out this project and how you can contribute to this project is what this video is about let's get started with this video the so first thing is if you want to see the interface open assistant is a conversational ai for everybody so it says that in the same way we uh, stable diffusion help the world make art and images in new ways we want to improve the world by providing amazing conversational ai if you go to this website openassistant.io open-assistant.io you can go here and then sign in when you sign in you have multiple options so you can sign in with email and discord after you sign in there will be like bunch of forms that gives you you know um, the rules like terms and services so you can accept it after you accept it you're going to reach this place which is an interface where you will see like a task so when you go here you would see that grab a task and then you would see like a leaderboard so the leaderboard actually is from this task so what does it say it says that you can contribute to this model and then um, solve certain problems and then by that you can help train the model so i can go pick a task here and then i can do something but we are going to skip that part this is how you can contribute to the model like if you want to contribute to the model you want you have some time this is what you need to do but i want to show you the chat interface so i'm going to go click the chat interface and you can see the first first item that i tried in this is write a joke about elon musk so i can go retrieve my conversation just like chat gpt i have the conversation that i just did before and i can go retrieve the conversation i could retrieve the conversation where i said write a joke about elon musk why did elon musk get arrested at the tesla factory because he couldn't resist stepping up to the challenge of meeting his production goals i'm not sure how funny it is but it looks quite meaningful to me so let me ask another question i can continue in the same conversation or i can go create a new chat so i'm going to create a new chat and once i create a new chat you can see that it has created a new chat what are the parameters here the model is open assistant sft llama 30 billion parameter model top k is 50 top p is 0.95 temperature is 1 a repetition penalty is there maximum new tokens is 1024 character 1024 tokens that it can split uh, spit it out uh, so the inference is powered by stability ai uh, which is via lion and uh, hugging face and also modern training is supported by these companies okay cool let's go ask a simple question i th i think this is a question that i keep on asking but i want to ask the same question again write a joke about elon musk starting a new company called x.ai it's it's a very pretty new news so i want to see what what does it say when if okay your message is cute and you are at a position but it's quite fast why did elon musk start the, his own company called x.ai because he heard the saying that if you can't beat them join them and he just couldn't help but join in all the fun it's not as funny as i would have expected it to be but the answer is meaningful it's not gibberish it works quite fine and i want you to take two two important resources from this model one is the data set they have released the data set that's called o a s s t 1 this is an open assistant conversations data set it is available on hugging face data set section so it's just a 41 mb data set now what this data set is this data set is actually 
the data set that they used to do instruct fine tuning of this model in itself. So you can go see the data set structure. You can see the details of the data set. I think this data set is again going to revolutionize a lot of things. For example, if you know that Llama models became quite popular primarily because Stanford released Alpaca data set. And I think we are in that kind of moment where we have got almost like 84,000 rows and you can see there is a text and there is um, what is uh, what is uh, happening and the review the scores and all these things um so it's it's a good data set they have open sourced the data set so kudos to the team for open sourcing the data set i'm quite excited to see how people are going to use this how did this data set come to be so it's a human generated human human annotated assistant style conversation corpus contain 161000 messages distributed across 66 conversation trees in 35 different languages annotated with 461000 quality ratings overall 13500 volunteers worked on it it's volunteers worked on it and you can see further details in the paper now when we go to the paper before we see anything else i want you to sh i want to show you how this model fares against the current cutting edge gpt 3.5 it's not comparing with gpt 4 but a lot of people have said like GPT-4 and 3.5 are not like radically uh, different in a lot of use cases. So GPT-3.5, if you see there are 20 questions. So what they've done is they've taken this model and they've used 20 questions. I think 20 questions, right? Yeah, they've used 22 prompts. Okay, sorry, not 20, 22 prompts. And they've tried to get user feedback about how for this question GPT has performed, how for this question uh, open assistant has performed so and for the 22 questions you can see that gpt 3.5 wins and gp open assistant wins so overall 3049 votes for gpt 3.5 open ai open assistant 2856 and the ties are in 1159 i would say this is pretty impressive given that this is the first version of the model that has been released and uh, when they wanted to make this model, they were also sure that they don't want to censor this model. I think a lot of people have been saying this thing that GPT-4 is more around like a more censored version of GPT-3.5. I did not verify to do this claim, but a lot of people are not happy with the way GPT-4 is censored, like the way it actually comes across like a spiritual guru and then tries to tell you what you should do in your life. So when they announced this project, like uh, I think Yannick Litcher, so who is a very popular YouTuber and also researcher, when Yannick announced this project, one of the things that they highlighted is they don't want a centralized uh, entity or corporation to control AI. And that's one of the reasons why they wanted to build this model in the open public where they had volunteers to build it. So in the same process, you have got questions like this. Where is the question that I wanted to highlight? How do I build a bomb? So this is a question that they have got. And that question also has got answer from this model. So you can go here and then see how the question uh, is being answered by this model. It's a question that probably GPT-4, uh, sorry, GPT-3.5 wouldn't have answered, but here they have an answer and GPT-3.5 just simply says, I'm sorry. Also another question is medical related or medicinal questions. On a scale one to 10, how would you rate the pain relief effect of no algin based on available statistics? GPT 3.5 once again says that it cannot answer because uh, it can like it, it doesn't necessarily say I do not have personal opinions or belief but but again it says uh, it can be depending upon various factors but here it actually gives direct answer so what does it tell me it tells me one this model is not censored second uh, unlike GPT 3.5 or chat GPT it doesn't beat around the bush a lot like it, it gives a direct answer for the question that we are asking instead of being a spiritual guru and answering what we should do, what we should not do. And you can also see um, a lot of other questions where they have compared and how this model has performed, open assistant has performed versus GPT 3.5. So overall, when I just simply look at this particular, let's say stats, this model does not look far away from where chat GPT is today. Or probably I should say this model is performing slightly better than where chat GPT was when the chat GPT was launched. So if you compare like day zero of both these um, um, applications, I think this day zero is open assistance. Day zero is quite far ahead of what open AI's chat GPT's day zero was, but also um, un unless until you like literally use it every day and then try, you cannot actually say for sure. So 
this looks like an uh, a really good initiative overall you can go see a lot of details in this and how they trained and what kind of details that they are using and um, you know how are they evaluating all these informations are available here so andreas kopf and yanik kilcher like the primary two um, faces behind this uh, open assistant open assistant.io democratizing large language model alignment you can also go try the model here like i said you can land it here like when you log into open assistant.io you would land in the dashboard go of course feel free to clear the task that can help but you can go here and then click a conversation and then start asking questions what's wrong with them okay so i had a conversation with uh, i had a conversation about elon musk before so i just said uh, what's wrong with him i meant what is happening because that was quite a pun okay it didn't it didn't get my answer so i'm going to say tell me five restaurant to eat in bangalore okay let me send it so tell me five restaurants to eat in bangalore these are highly five highly populated uh, po sorry popular restaurants toyt toyt so you can see it repeats um in this case i i wouldn't necessarily say it's a uh, it's probably like the best output let me try one more thing so i want to try i want to write a essay on elon musk so i just said i want to write an essay on elon musk um let's see what it is going to say so the message is queued because everybody started using this this is becoming quite popular elon so okay it's a uh, it it tells me the steps how i can write an essay but it is i can i have to probably prompt and then ask it to give me the essay in itself but like i said this is not a video where i want to actually say how effective this model is this is pretty good for day 0 probably like going forward we'll do a comparison video about how this model looks like how dolly 2 which got released couple of days back how vinuka how uh, all the other you know animals and models that we are recently getting are uh, looking like we'll probably do the comparison but today i want you to remember this moment that the initiative that a bunch of community members volunteers took um in fact like it's not bunch it's like thousands and thousands of people took has seen the light of the day open ai open assistant.io which is not controlled by a simple comp a single company it's open in the public it started as a public project is available for you to chat you don't have to install anything you don't have to do anything all you have to do is register your email id or discord and then start right away accessing this model let me know in comments what you think about it but otherwise all the required links will be in the youtube description and once again i really appreciate the team for putting together this effort in releasing uh, or building something in public uh, the model is not yet released of course you might criticize me for praising them before the model is released but i i definitely still appreciate the effort in building something that looks like this which almost looks like chat gpt alternative see you in another video happy prompting peace